Yo, what's rocking YouTube, man? It's your boy Stony Rockstar. I'm back, man. At you with another official video, man. This shit is some Rackers Island shit. Some blood on blood shit, man. How shit is today. It is what it is. So I end up catching a violation. And I'm, they troop me to the island. So I go to the beacon. So while I'm in the beacon, I'm with the other homie. You know what I'm saying? A paru. And it was another dude that used to be homie. So we in the bullpens. So the Paru kid is like, yo, I, I ain't trying to stay here, etc. and so on. You know, he was like, he was in Jagged. He was going to tell him he wanted to be up out of there. Evidently, he had some type of enemy or something. So once he went and he saw, like, the dudes that talk to you, that ask you if you blood or whatever like that. Most of them police is already blood. They gang intelligence. They know what it is and all of that shit. So when he came back, he was like, nah, matter of fact, I'm going to stay. Because he probably found out his enemy wasn't there. All right, cool. So I'm already down there stony from motherfucking 98 when I was down there. When I came down from up north to go to court. So my shit is already solidified. So they was like, yo, you fuck with the brims? I was like, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So... I pull up in the brim house and shit. Soon as I get, before I get in the door, there's a dude standing in his blood. He's like, you homie? I was like, no doubt. Salute. Stony Rock Store, BSV. You know what I'm saying? And he's like, yo, my hood, your hood. So he come in and he salute and he tell everybody it was a new homie there. Now, mind you, it's like 60 cells in that motherfucker and it's like about 48 dudes is homie in there, right? So everybody's saluting me. Salute, salute. Even the next day, dudes that ain't salute me the, that day, saluted me the next day. And I was there for like five, six months. And I never seen other dudes come in and get so much love. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, you had dudes come in that was blood and dudes wouldn't even go and salute them. You know what I mean? They wouldn't get that type of love. So, you know, I'm g Mac and I do what I do. After doing 25 years up north, going to the island, that shit is like baby food to me. I know how to move like a G, period. You know what I mean? So, I come in, you know, I'm, I'm coming down the stairs and shit because they got the first floor and the second floor. So, a young blood, I forget his name, bro. It'll come to me, though. But he was like, yo, that nigga right there look like a real fucking blood right there. You know what I'm saying? And niggas would... Find out later that I did 25. Because when you show your paperwork, your violation is going to say, you know what I mean? What your charge is and all of that. And it's going to have your, your, um, the charge that you went to prison for. And of course, my shit say murder in the second degree. You know what I mean? And then my shit say 89A 1932. You feel me? So when niggas see my number, they already know. Yo, this nigga did mad time, so the respect is there. So what I do with my respect is this. I'm breaking shit up. Niggas is fighting. I'm breaking that shit up. No, we're going to have peace. And I'm going to spread a positive influence because niggas is looking at me like a real blood. Niggas is like, yo, this dude is a real blood. And a lot of young dudes like to vibe with me because they know I'm from that first generation. And they know... How that shit was from word of mouth, from OGs telling how it used to be. So they like to be around a real motherfucker that's really blood. You know what I'm saying? That really done been through the trenches of this shit. So the first instance that happened, the shit that I see is it was chicken day. So it was a 550. They tried to dub the nigga on his chicken. So the nigga popped off on one of them. Know what I'm saying? Then the other blood came through, just put his body on him, didn't touch him, just got between him and kind of like pushed him out of the way. That was mad, dog. Know what I'm saying? Pushed him out of the way. The other kid, they he snuff, I forget his name. So I'm like, all right, this how they giving up in here. They doing the same old shit. Know what I'm saying? Same old oppression shit that I don't like. You feel me? Like, shit is just crazy. So I'm like, all right, man. I see a stony in there. There's a couple of them, right? So I pull them niggas up. Yo, what, what it is? What's up? And he telling me some shit like, all right, cool. We going G-Mac. So 
Another kid end up coming in. He was a um a pea stone. He was in blood, but he was talking, yo, he on stone time. And he was trying to get up on that nigga. So, I, you know, hold him down, be with the team. Of course, I pull him in, all right, man. But he was a little hothead, and he doing shit. And I gave the nigga a burner, right? So now, you got niggas that got mad tickets and shit like that. To the point where they got surcharges. So some dudes, they hoard shit. In the fucking pantry. Like cereal and shit like that. Because them niggas ain't getting no money in. Them niggas got mad fucking surcharges and shit like that. So I kind of understand that shit sometimes. But this dude, he was kind of hot headed. He ran over there to Mad Dog. Mad Dog getting ready to go up north. Know what I'm saying? He's staying some drama. Know what I'm saying? Like that shit. Niggas was beefing every day in that shit. Niggas was pulling out on each other. Beefing every day in that motherfucker, man. I mean every fucking day. Bro, I've been to the island like five times. This was the wildest fucking time ever being on the island and being in there with niggas that's supposed to love each other and all of that shit, man. The shit is just fucking bananas. So he run up on this nigga, yo, boom, boom, boom. So Mad Dog cups him, boom. They getting it on. And I like the fact that, you know, son, even though Mad Dog's bigger than him, kind of like, no. He got up and, and tried to fight, do the best that he could, and made a scene and all this shit. So he ended up getting up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Police came, and he was making the most noise or whatever. They got him up out of there. So when that shit was going down, another villain act like he was getting ready to jump. But niggas was like, yo, ain't no jumping in on no bloods here, bro. The shit got to be one-on-one. So now, when this nigga's gone... The kid that act like he was going to break it up or jump or whatever the fuck it was going to be. This motherfucker didn't come out the next day like he was scared of mad dog or something. Right? And then before that, we used to be working out with the pyramid and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga always want to sit over there and play cause and he don't know shit. And niggas used to come to me and be like, yo man, teach him. Oh, gee, because this nigga don't know shit. Boom, boom, boom. I'll try to teach a nigga. And niggas got tight with him one day. So the, so the stones came to me. It was like, yo, we going to get this nigga a motherfucking 31. So they took the nigga in my cell. So they hitting the nigga into the body. You know what I'm saying? Banging the shit. I'm hearing the nigga like sound like the nigga ribs is crapping. So I'm like, all right, man. So he like, they like stony count. So I'm counting. But as they hitting this nigga... I had to count fast in the motherfucker before they body this nigga in the fucking cell. Because this nigga is screaming like a bitch. And he act like he wanted to try to run out of the fucking cell. Now, if you run out of the cell, then you're going to become fool. Know what I'm saying? So, I tried to say this nigga. So, I counted mad fast. When, I, when they hitting this nigga, this nigga screaming. He trying to run up out of there. So, I said, you know what? This shit ain't for this nigga. This nigga's from Georgia and shit. And he came to New York and caught a... Caught a um, a charge or some shit, you know, and he was saying, you know, his OG in Georgia and all this shit. I was like, bro, this shit ain't for you, man. I don't have to sit you down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Before you end up getting hurt, bro. You know what I mean? And then the other little homie was fucking with the nigga. The nigga ran to the gate and snitched on the nigga and the whole shit, bro. Like, sometimes dudes just don't be built for this shit, man. How non say it? It's only so long, but... Before fake, it's only so long that fake thugs can pretend, bro. Being around real niggas, being in a hostile environment, bro. So now, the next shit that happened, the other stony, he get into some shit. Because he's stressing over his broad on the phone. This is first time in jail, the nigga like 24. You only getting ready to do a one to three, nigga. And he's stressing over this broad. Know what I'm saying? So... The godfather of the motherfucking, the hoodie, a Spanish kid. I think he was Dominican, right? He's the godfather of um the hoodies, right? So, this nigga, he already tight with his broad over. He got his broad on the phone. And nigga's like, yo, my time is next or whatever. So, this nigga is mad, right? So, he tell the godfather of the hoodie. It's like, yo, 
Fuck that shit. Yo, you know, he going past the nigga time. His time is next. So, yo, fuck that shit. And he want his broad to see, like, see what you get me into? Like, like, my nigga. This shit is fucking crazy, man, with these bras, man. Niggas be acting fucking bananas, man. So, the nigga put down the phone and say, what's up, nigga? Like, you can't fight anyway. Now, mind you, the young nigga, all he do is throw his hands all day because all they do is practice boxing with the fucking mattress and spar all day, every fucking day in the back where they got the stairs come down. Behind the stairs, niggas is... Sparring, getting it on. So, son, shit is nice. And he's like 6'2". So, he tell the nigga, you don't know how to fight anyway. So, he just playing with the nigga and almost knocked him out. Boom, nigga head hit the wall, right? I'm like, oh, man. So, now, this nigga, he get together with a hurt, another Dominican kid and some, some other dude. So, now they coming. The nigga pull out the motherfucking, um... The fucking, um, the scalpel, right? Pull out the scalpel. Another nigga got some other shit. So, remember, I gave my shit to this nigga, and he got sent the body. He's gone, right? The police came and took him up out of there. So, I'm like, I got to finesse this shit because I can't let them do that to this nigga anyway. And plus, the brims is not going to allow that shit to go down anyway. This shit about to get ugly. So, I'm like, yo, let me simmer this shit down. So, before niggas could come at him... The other, um, mad dog brim, you know what I'm saying? We're going to get into it about him. That shit is crazy, right? So he passed the homie, the ice pick, make sure if shit really get funky. Because he always talking shit, y'all, I don't use weapons and all that. She use my hands. I'm like, this nigga, are you fucking kidding me? You know what I'm saying? You live in an illusion. It's your first time in jail. You really don't know what's going on. You came here, you got comfortable, niggas know you, you playing cards, you good, then I come in, there's other stones that you good, like, like, bro, you can't go in every house and do that, homie, bugging the fuck out, so, I had to get in the middle of that shit, know what I'm saying, break that shit up, niggas could have cut me, I'm standing, I'm jumping in the middle, like, nah, nah, y'all ain't doing that, chill out, boom, 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 enough of that shit, and then, I. Right, they want to talk about it. So the GF and this nigga, he went up to the, to the nigga cell and he talked about it. Now, he should have got it on right then and there because he got embarrassed. He almost got knocked the fuck out. He should have just got it on right there. But I think they knew that he probably ain't had no wins. You know what I'm saying? Son's lung strong motherfucker and that's why he shoot them hands all day. All right, cool. So the shit supposed to be over. Know what I'm saying? But it's still a little tension and shit because I had to go and check the young boy. You was wrong for that shit, man. You going through problems with your broad, man. You going the way if your broad going fucks, you going fuck, my nigga. You can't just be trying to dub niggas for their time because you stressing over a bitch. Yo, so I had to G-check this nigga, bro. Like, you, you was out of pocket. The fuck is you doing? So, I'm like, you know what? Like, the beacon is no moving in that motherfucker. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to go to the mess hall. So they had one kid that was going to the mess hall, but he was a 550 and he ain't like blood so the low. So niggas is like, yo, I asked him. And he'd be like, nah, nah. So I said, yo, I'm going to ask this nigga, bro. And this nigga won't get me in that motherfucker. Like, well, you know I ain't know no type of motherfucking oppression shit. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom, boom. He was like, yeah, but I'll tell you. But he did it, though. And the people came around and I got pulled out. Now... When I go down to the mess hall, there's no bloods in the mess hall. There's a few Latin kings, and there's a couple of Crips, and there's like an MS-13. I ain't seen no Pantheon niggas or nothing like that. So I'm G-Mac, and I'm down there. I'm scoping shit. Now, the kid that brought me down there, that got me down there, he never told me that there was two Crips down there, right? But I peeps move. I peeps game. I know what time it is. But I'm a G-Mac, nigga. Like, I know how to fucking move. Know what I mean? But niggas, niggas was like, he, one of the kids that was a crip, he was selling that shit. He was doing this thing or whatever like that. So I said, I, I know what the fuck I'm going to do. I'm about to flood this whole motherfucking uh -uh, mess hall shit, morning, afternoon, and evening shift with mad homies. So I started bringing down the homies, pulling them in. Know what I'm saying? So the crip dudes kind of like broke out. Know what I mean? So, and they could have chilled. 
Know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't with that black on black violent shit, my nigga. Know what I mean? They could have g mag There was one crip that still used to come down there after that shit. And I assured them, you good, bro. Know what I mean? We ain't on that type of time. We gonna chill and do what we do. Know what I'm saying? Let niggas know they wanna come down. They good, man. So, I, at this... At about a couple of weeks later, man, I got the morning shit filled with homies. Afternoon and evening. Know what I'm saying? And... The Latin King dudes that was there, they was chill. You know what I'm saying? They used to be in the whatchamacallit. But I think they started feeling a bit uneasy because even though I'm a real nigga and I fuck with everybody. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. As long as you ain't no enemy. That's we getting on with right now. You good. But they know once a whole bunch of my homies get together. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes be acting up. So eventually the Kings broke out too. You know, they all kind of basically dispersed. I turned that whole shit into a whole blood everything. I turned that whole house into a blood house where niggas just could run the hallways, work, make a little bullshit money. Because niggas like when niggas come back with mad cereal and milk and all that shit like that. You know what I mean? And plus, nigga make a little bullshit ass hundred dollars a week. You feel me? So we down there chilling. And plus, there's this broad down there, CO broad. You know, every time she see me, she want to be looking in my eyes. And we make eye contact, flirting and shit like that. And plus, you get to run the hall, but you get to see all the bros and flirt. There's a couple of bros you see all the time. Make an eye contact, you go get your fresh cut. You know what I'm saying? Have some nice specs, some doing me. And bitches see how a nigga moving because I'm a real motherfucking G. So they look in the bubble and they see what my shit say. You know what I mean? And they see how I move. So... The next crazy shit that happened is a homie, right? This nigga, I was with him another time we was on the island, right? So as soon as I get in, he shouted out, yo, what up, Stony? Boom, boom, boom. He claiming this time he caught a body and all that shit. I even seen him in the town and all that. Now, he a little crazy, though. Because when, before when I was on the island, when I was with him, there was a Pacquiao kid that came in the house. And this was a fucking time when the shit was popping. And they had, I think, a, um, eight, eight, eight up or some shit like that. That's where they were staying until they moved them down to the reception house, right? So the Pacquiao kid, he come from the tombs. So he in the bed right next to me. So I asked him, I said, yo, you a Pacquiao? He said, yeah. But he said, I'm not like one of them gangs. I'm a real patty. I'm like from, from Dominican Republic. I'm not with that shit. But I ain't jacking that shit because if you would have went to the patty house, you would have been claiming patty on that gang shit, my nigga. But the nigga was like, yo, check it. I'm waiting. I'm getting some chocolate tomorrow. Boom, boom, boom. I'm like, word? You getting some chocolate? I right, you good. So... I let all the homies know, yo, this nigga's patty out, but he's going to get that chocolate. And as long as he's setting that shit out, he good and he could live. Know what I'm saying? So now this nigga, right? This motherfucker, he go against the grain and he go tells the 550 niggas that there's a patty out over there. So by the time I come back, the 550s is over the nigga and they pounding the nigga out because you got to realize that when... Dudes go to a patty out house. If you black, they just going to jump you. Even though you say you not blood or nothing, they just going to jump you. And that shit makes that shit mad racist. Because if a Dominican come to the house and he's not patty out and we know he not patty out, we can't prove it, the nigga can live. He good. But if a black go to a patty out house, he not blood. So these 550s mung this nigga the fuck out. Banging this nigga the fuck out. Know what I'm saying? I couldn't even say the nigga. I was trying to make moves. This nigga fucked up my flow. So anyway, back to this nigga, right? Lambo. That's his name. Lambo. So now, he like, one thing I liked it about him, he didn't give a fuck about who was supposed to be who. He be like, yo, fuck that shit. I catch y'all niggas motherfucking um, oppressing 550. I'm banging the shit out you. Know what I'm saying? We ain't allowed that shit. I ain't like that shit. A lot of dudes ain't allowed that uh, oppressing far 50s, man. Neutrals and shit like that, man. Nah, no good, bro. So I used to like when he do that. But sometimes he get a big head and he get beside himself. So this nigga, 
He was trying to fuck with the 550 that he was doing business with. He was talking about, yo, you owe me cheese and what? So he ran up in the 550 niggas. And the 550 used to be homie. He fell, he fell back. He ran up in the nigga's cell on some hot shit. And ended up coming out with a busted nose. His shit was bleeding. He just had a little, you could tell he kind of little lost that, lost that little fight, right? So niggas is kind of wrecking him on the low. And the nigga got mad humble after that. Like the nigga was humble for like a whole week, bro. So you could tell he ran up in there with confidence. But he came back out. And the nigga was kind of like, <laughs> he kind of like took an L with that, right? So... That was some funny shit. He took an L, right? Because he kind of got the worst of that shit, right? Had a little, little, little shiner and his shit was bleeding. Kind of like fully thought the nigga ain't had no hands. The nigga had hands, right? So now the nigga that had hands, whatever, he gassed up now. Now he want to get down with the mad dog. Uh, uh, um, No, mad, mad, murder, m murder brims, murder brims. So anyway... The murder prim nigga. Now you got the prims in the house. You got Charlie Rock and all that salute, Charlie man, wherever you at up north. Real brim nigga with the hat tattooed on his shit. Man, I fuck with the brims hard. Stone to the brim all day. Stone 101. Vidal Castro, black gangster. You already know. Salute, right? So this nigga come in. Now he OG. He OG. He talking about he got seven bodies and all that shit. But he's selling the story and he got niggas believing this shit. But come to find out later, the nigga had just had a drug charge and all that shit. But the nigga sold a good story to these niggas, bro. He was like, yo, in the other house, the nigga, I got the sign on the fucking phone says, the office, nigga. This is the boss. This my shit. So a nigga came in and touched it. He said he stabbed the nigga all in his face and all that shit. Right? So he coming over, he got mad stories. Now the nigga, he from Harlem. And now niggas was telling me the nigga, he, nigga's a murderer. He like, he really put that pain in. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, he's kind of lying. Like, the nigga really does this shit in the street. You know what I'm saying? The nigga really lay down this murder game and shit. And he a Harlem nigga. And I'm a Harlem nigga. And they had his, his, his boy, his co defendant was there. He a Harlem nigga. And he shot me out all day. So... It was some Harlem love in that motherfucker. So now niggas had the motherfucking a knife, right? Both of them niggas had knife. The black shit that don't ring when you go through the mountains. Like some hard fiberglass shit. The fucking knife with the teeth, nigga. Niggas was like, yo, we gonna get you one next. Know what I'm saying? We got you. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm like, damn. And then you got the motherfucking police coming up, throwing up the motherfucking brim shit. Boom, boom. Talking to these niggas and shit like that, man. And shit is serious, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. So now, the homie Charlie Rock, this is what I liked it. Niggas in the box, we made a kitty for them niggas. Everybody go to the store, put a little something on the table for the homies that's in the box and shit. And I was feeling that and I saluted them because it reminded me of first generation when niggas really stuck together and shit like that, right? Man, so the next time... And mind you, everybody is smoking fucking K2. Motherfucking um, uh, paper plane, nigga. Know what I'm saying? So I'm like, bro, I ain't fucking with that. Know what I'm saying? Period. I know what time it is with that. I lived through the motherfucker. I seen what crack did to niggas. And I always knew there's going to be some new shit that's going to come out that's going to fuck niggas up. So... All of these niggas is smoking K2. Even my own fucking stonies, bro. So, a couple of niggas stonies that came in, right? Like, my nigga monster and all that shit. This nigga is smoking K2. He came in because he was smoking K2. And the other nigga came in. He's smoking K2. Them niggas going in the room smoke. I come back from work. The whole shit smelling like K2. So, the brim OG nigga. You know what I'm saying? Murder Brim or whatever. He was like, yo, nah, bro, I don't fuck with that. I was watching this shit from afar. And I ain't trying to judge my homies or nothing, man. But damn, man. I done seen niggas come home. Right? I done seen niggas come home. You know what I'm saying? And they go up no smoking. K2 with the homies smoking the little sticks. Then they come home and they graduate to the motherfucking blunts. And when they graduate to the blunt, niggas become zombies. I see niggas come home. 
Like, and the next day, niggas is like a zombie, bro. Like, what the fuck is going on? And these niggas don't know that they being set up to be strung out on that shit. They go up, they smoking that shit, the homies, and they come home and they strung out on that shit. Right? So, now, so, back to the island, right? Back to 5A, right? Now, every time I used to go by, anybody used to come there, new niggas, they'd be like, how can I get up in the mess hall? Niggas want to eat, whatever, boom, move around the hallway. So, I come in there, yo, you, come on, let's go. So, the female officers and see that shit, how I changed this, man, the shit is still wild. But, you know what I'm saying? If niggas is working and doing shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Trying to create some type of motherfucking movement. So, female over, they seeing that shit. They seeing how a nigga move. Yo, one of them bros in there, like a nigga, every time they be like, hey, what's up, boom, 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 and all this shit, I'm like, all right, hey, what's up, what's good, and one time I seen the bro come out on a lunch break when we was going to the mess, I was like, God damn, and I looked at the last name, and I, that last name, I ain't really used to see a name, like, I wasn't a regular shit, so I came home, and then I get a motherfucking, um, a friend request, and I look at the name, and then I look, and I see Shorty in a uniform, and I'm like, oh, we said, yo, that's Shorty right there. But let's get back. Let's get back, right? But I'm telling you, bros, we like when the nigga move, man. I'm telling you, they like that alpha male shit. So anyway, just come out, get work, work out on the stairs, go to the motherfucking mess hall. Know what I'm saying? Got the storms in there. We doing what we do. The brims in there. We doing, doing chicken. There. Everybody's, everybody eating. Everybody good. Right? So, get back to the motherfucking shit. The motherfucking mad, the the um murder brim nigga, he fucking with that shit. He got a couple of, um, couple of, um, drops now. Nigga says, want to get, even the dude that kind of got the best of the Lambo, he want to get up under him too. He the godfather of that shit. He's the GF for that, that murder brim shit, right? So, them niggas smoking KT and K K2 in the room. And like that demon just came out. And that nigga, that nigga just thought he punched his, his drop in the face. That nigga was over there crying. What the fuck you crying for, nigga? Then he chased them niggas out of the fucking room. This shit was the talk of the town because this shit was fucking crazy. So the nigga biting niggas. He run out, he biting niggas. So the other nigga, he high off that shit. And he run up to the, by the bubble and he swinging. Yo, whoever, this K2 shit, niggas is sitting at the table and pass out from this K2 shit. And then the nigga went and he started biting the stool. And the stool is, is fucking made out of metal. So this shit makes you look bad as GF. Know what I'm saying? And now the nigga basically then took over the Brim's house. And he got the dope fiend 550s up in the motherfucking um, the pantry. Know what I'm saying? N niggas kind of was getting tired of that and they wanted to do something to son, right? So, at the end of the day, that's my Harlem nigga. And I'm like, damn. And he was doing some other fucked up shit because I told you that motherfuckers was doing the kitty for niggas in the, um, in, in the box. Come to find out when this nigga started doing it, bro. And niggas was sending out. There was a kid in the box that had the K2 that was getting it. So, they would get the kitty. And take that shit to the box. You had niggas working in the box and sell it to the nigga for K2. And the homies wasn't even getting hit off. Know what I'm saying? Foul shit. So when I heard about this shit, yo, we ain't putting nothing on that table no more. Because niggas is doing fucked up and foul shit like that, bro. And that's my man and all that, bro. But, like, bro, that shit. So niggas is plotting and scheming to get at this nigga on the real, real. The Brams is like, yo... First of all, niggas is like, yo, get them 550s the fuck out of there, man. Because only blood can get your only blood supposed to be in there. So niggas regulated that shit, right? So I'm saying, yo, this shit is fucking crazy. So every day, niggas is pulling out at each other. So the Dominican Herc nigga, right? He wants to get a cell that another nigga left. Because remember, we got TV. We watching blood videos. We got the, the what you call it shit. Where we can watch videos and movies and all this shit. So, the nigga like, yo, you got to get the fuck up out of here. Who told you to go up in there? And this is his own hurt. Know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, yo, ah, you got to get the fuck up out of there. I'm just seeing niggas, man, be like, yo, 
y'all niggas gotta get the fuck up out of here and, and take a plastic bag and put it in front of the nigga's cell, right? Make all this noise and nobody never move, bro. So I'm saying, yo, some of these niggas just be talking, bro, and no action. No niggas just be talking, man, because the shit sound good, bro. I'll be like, what the fuck? So anyway, there was this another kid. He from Harlem. He was a hurt. You know what I'm saying? So this nigga, this, he, he had like two bodies. So his mom was somewhere else, and he was just on some argument with niggas and beefing with niggas every day. You know what I'm saying? Till the word came down, niggas was like, fuck it. So like seven niggas just jumped this nigga in and washed this nigga up. And the other, the hurt nigga, he didn't even help the nigga. All the shit this nigga was talking, he ain't even help his own fucking hurt. And he was down to help when it was one nigga that was talking shit. He always was by the nigga's side, salute. But then when that shit popped off, this nigga was nowhere to be, be found. And the nigga was kind of quiet after that because you know you ain't really do what you was supposed to do. You're supposed to go out with your nigga. You feel me? Like, shit this crazy, man. So then the kid that... Got one up on Lambo and the Herc nigga get into it because he feel like he got to come back and like, you know what I'm saying? Make a statement because he looking kind of bad right now. So him and the kid get into it. He got a motherfucking ratchet at the end of a a, a, a brush or some shit like a, a, a on a stick. So the nigga grabbed the shit. He hitting the nigga in the head with the shit. The nigga grabbed the shit and just pulled that shit and just ripped the whole nigga hand almost cut the nigga hand off right but whenever you cut somebody in there that's when that motherfucking the squad is coming and you're gonna get locked down for three days and they're gonna come like three different times after that so niggas be trying not to blaze shit up in there but sometimes this shit happens you know what i'm saying so i'm like god damn bro all right so now motherfucking lambo like i was telling you you know he, he even felt like he had to get something back. So he done had like three fights in the motherfucking pantry. And he get it on quick. Now, the nigga ain't no sucker. He going to get it on. And the Herc nigga, he didn't put in work and all that shit, man. But sometimes, bro, niggas got to think, man. This shit is just bananas. Every fucking day, niggas is pulling out of each other, fighting, acting like they getting ready to cut. But they know that they can't because it's going to make shit hot. And you on camera and you going to get a new chart. So a lot of this shit just be a bunch of fucking frustration and fucking acting on camera, my nigga. Be like, what the fuck is going on, right? So now there's this kid that came in. He was a GF of a stone set, right? So when he came in, he came in on some hot milli shit. Yo, who claiming my shit up in here? Right, and he tell him monster, and he hot, hot with this nigga, and then he get hot with the young kid that's twenty four, that nice with the hands. So, I'm the only one that got a banger in that motherfucker, cause there was a kid that was down with is and them big is and shit. When he left, he gave me the ice pick. I kept that shit up under the door, right next to monster shit. We always keep on. Got the string on it in case I need to just pull that shit up out of there, right? So the nigga, they get ready to make a move on this nigga, cause nigga coming in hot miller shit. So nigga get the banger, you know what I'm saying? We all go down there. Had another nigga in there that was talking shit. They in there smoking K2. So we open the door and run up in there, push the nigga up against the wall. Yo, you, you be easy. This nigga over here is who we want. Matter of fact, you get the fuck out. So now, this nigga's there. Yo, what all that shit you was talking? So he punched the nigga in the mouth, right? This a GF of, of a set getting punched in his mouth. Know what I'm saying? Now we heard when the nigga was over there with the with the apes, the know what I'm saying, smoking that shit, the nigga jumped off the second floor tier. Know what I'm saying? So this nigga already was fooled, bro. When you have an epi and you supposed to be a godfather, nigga, you fooled, bro. So now the young boy trying to stab the nigga with the ice pick. So wants to grab the nigga arm and keep the nigga from stabbing him, nigga. We all violations, nigga. We trying to go home. You trying to prove yourself, nigga. Know what I'm saying? And you bugging out because your bitch is leaving you. You won't give a fuck. And no, no, my nigga, like, you got the fucking G-Mac right now. Just beat the nigga up. Punch the nigga on his face. We ain't doing that because we on camera in this nigga fucking room. So the nigga come out. Everybody leave. All right, pack your shit. Get the fuck out. So I tried to talk to the nigga. So he's, he's like, yeah, I'm GF. Like, nigga, like, nobody cares that you GF if you talking shit, nigga. Like, you talking all this hot shit, nigga. We don't give a fuck about that shit. So I was like, 
I was thinking about, yo, I'm, I, I'll talk to these niggas. He was like, all right. Then he came out talking, to, all right, you know, this nigga's the fuck up out of here. I'm letting everybody know this nigga's the fuck up out of here. Some niggas ran this nigga to the gate and got this nigga the fuck up out of here. Now, the nigga that's the um, GF of the murder brims, that's supposed to be his cousin. And I'm supposed to be my man. So now we are odds. Know what I'm saying? Because he's like, yo, ba da da yo, nah, he coming back in there. Nah, the nigga not coming back in here. So months on the phone, he called me to come down. The brim's already ready to jump this nigga. So I'm standing. So when I come down, I fall my arms standing around. I'm looking at the nigga. So the nigga get a little shook. Know what I'm saying? So the nigga go to his cell. So I'm trying to tell the nigga, yo, boom, boom, boom. So nigga, uh, he ain't say no slick shit. So the nigga that's locked in. Know what I'm saying? And I was just on some G-Max shit. You my man, we going to discuss it. But this nigga is not staying here. You feel me? It's not going down like that. So, so now, so this nigga's gone. So, shit is cool. Now, the broad, when the shit was going on, she had the pepper spray or whatever the fuck bear spray. That shit right there is fucking bananas. You don't want to inhale that. Believe me. So, she conducted herself. Niggas, don't press that shit. Don't press that shit. And she didn't. So, afterwards, when the nigga was gone, I went and I told her, I was like, yo. I said, yo, I like the how you conducted yourself. Man, she fine as shit. And this is the same one that sent me a friend request and shit. Dead ass, my nigga. Right? So, I'm like, all right, cool. I'm like, all right, cool. So, now, the broad... The fucking warden, she shut down one of them houses where the billies was at. She shut down the whole house. So when she shut down the whole house, niggas in our house was like, yo, better chill. This, Cause we got a good thing going here. Better try to like be easy for shorty to shut down our whole shit. Like she was shut down the whole fucking house. Know what I'm saying? She shut down parts of another house too. So niggas was trying to be easy. Niggas, you know, in the mess all doing what we do, working, running the hallways, flirting with bitches and all that shit. Making moves and shit, right? So, there's this kid. Now, the corona shit start, right? The corona shit is popping off. So, niggas like, ain't no new niggas coming up in here. So, a kid came in there. Now, niggas put it on somebody. Because there was a kid that was kind of hot. And, and the GF or the murdered Brims ain't like this nigga. And I thought he had potential. So, he's always come up top and, 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 and chop it up with him. Because I'd be on the railing and shit. So, he used to always, he's been like, yo, I see you always be chilling, man. You don't salute nobody. You just come in. Nobody say shit to you. Just, you know what I'm saying? You got to be somebody, right? So, I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'll just be g Mac and you know, I'm trying to give him some wisdom. He, you know what I'm saying? Because he going through it right now. And he seemed like he might have to prove himself and all this shit. So, the kid comes, a new kid comes in. Now, first they said, oh, he was the enemy. Boom. Then they said, the next motherfucker come in, this corona shit, it's on you. And then the nigga that was supposed to put in work didn't put in work. So I come downstairs to get on the phone. I'm on the phone. The kid gets on the next phone. They hit this nigga so motherfucking hard. The nigga head hit my shoulder. Boom, right? And they on this nigga. It's about seven niggas that's on this nigga, man. They is whooping this nigga the fuck out, bro. And this nigga's like, why? I don't, why? Why? He don't even know why, bro. They, yo, I'm sure they broke this nigga jaw. They was hitting this nigga hard, my nigga. I was like, God damn. All right. So now, that's the shit that got us shut the fuck down behind that shit. Next thing you know, the warden was like, shut that shit down. So they start packing niggas up. Know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn. So, my motherfucking number get called. Boom. Everybody. So now I end up going to motherfucking C95. I'm in the bullpens. Boom. Then niggas stick it up because niggas wasn't trying to let niggas in their fucking house. This corona shit. Know what I mean? Just the wrong time that had done that shit. Niggas is fucking crazy. Then, then let's get back to that. After they popped the nigga shit off, then the goon squad come in. And niggas is like, yo, we ain't locking. We gonna pop up with the goon squad. And then... Niggas let, and I know what's going to happen. I'm just watching this shit. They going to let the goon squads talk them niggas in, not doing it. And niggas talking about they was going to pop off. And the nigga that popped it off, he popped off on one of the fucking police. Know what I'm saying? So now the rest of the niggas is talking about they was going to pop off. They ain't even fucking pop off. 
Like, come on, man. With all this fucking acting, man. Niggas know they ain't really trying to do all that shit, man. Stop pretending and stop fucking acting, man. Shit is fucking bananas. Niggas ended up not doing shit. Feel me? Shit is fucking crazy. So, back to C95. Know what I'm saying? I sneak the ice pick over. I give it to the young kid. Know what I'm saying? He claiming he got some Brooklyn beefing and seen a few niggas. He's like, Stony man, your beef is old, ba da da da. You ain't got to worry about da da da. Let the nigga, all right, go ahead, bro. So they send us the fucking old boy. Know what I'm saying? So we go to old boy. I meet up with another Stone, the Gorilla Stone, a homie from Harlem and shit. So he had a mask. One of the first niggas that had a mask before Jay Z had sent the mask and everybody had him. So he gave me one. So we come up in the house, a house where niggas wasn't letting. We just walked up in there. Ain't nobody fuck with us. Know what I'm saying? We went to our cots. We, we rocking together. We good. No other niggas come in. Niggas is getting pounded out in the bathroom. Boom. Some of the niggas come in. I go, look, like, this shit has happened before. I'm like, God damn. All right. Boom. Another one come in. Boom. Bang. Da, 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 boom. Now there was a kid that was um getting that K2. And if you don't share with the homies, if you don't share... K2 with niggas, niggas is going to fuck you up. You got to share that shit with these niggas. Niggas going to get at you. So I'm telling this nigga, yo, you good, bro, bro. Everything is good. He like, yo. And he was a good dude, man. I, I like him. You know, he, got, he was cool, motherfucker. He was a, um, what was he? He's a swan? I think he was a swan, man. Yo, the nigga came back from working and nigga tried to get on this slot. Like 9 o'clock or some shit or whatever. And the homie that came with me popped on him. Know what I'm saying? He was popping on everybody, bro. Just unnecessarily. Know what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, sometimes you could just G-Mac. You ain't got to do all this extra shit for nothing. So next thing you know, so I'm standing there, of course, supporting. Know what I'm saying? But hopefully defuse this shit. Next thing you know, I'm on camera with everybody else and packed up again. Back now they sending me to C95. Back to C95. Right? We go over to this shit. Now they put us in the house. They got packed the house there. But they only gonna keep it this one night or whatever the fuck. Because in the morning it's gonna be on and popping in that motherfucker. Know what I'm saying? As soon as we came up in there, they was like, yo, don't get too comfortable because y'all ain't staying. <laughs> But they can't keep you in the bullpens for long. Right? So they ended up ended up going to um a Latin King house and shit, right? Now there was a blood up in there and he had the house and shit. You know, I guess most of the real thorough niggas had left or whatever. It was nothing but like a few dudes left and some of them niggas was cool and shit. You know, they used to see how I move. I'm always g manking I ain't with the extra bullshit, but when it's time to move, I'm moving like what it is, right? So, yo, this motherfucker got 40 years, right? He come down from um Sullivan. So, when we was trying to get into a house, he was like, I know him, pointing to me. He said, I don't know you. He let us all three of us in. You know what I'm saying? It was good money and shit, you know? And But the shit was just... The shit was, it was a, one of them laid by houses. There ain't supposed to be no drama. So, you had a blood nigga that came up in there trying to act... Crazy, but this shit is not warranted. This is not the field, my nigga. This is some like like um get better off some Thor's what what the fuck they call it? Methadone or some shit. Like niggas is coming off the streets off that shit. Niggas, it's not the type of house where you get gully at. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as I come up in there, I meet the villain. The villain, he getting ready to go home though. You know what I'm saying? He made his shit. So like so the, the homie came up in there hot shit. The homie was like, yo, nah. You came coming up in here in this hot shit making our little sanctuary hot. Nah, you got to go. Know what I'm saying? Niggas packed that nigga up and ming mong ming. Like the shit was serious like that. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I ended up getting the fuck up out of there. I'm hollering at my um, my lawyer. Little bad um Indian bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking sweet to her on the phone. She helped me get the fuck up out of jail. You know what I'm saying? On my way home, they put me in a fucking a dog kennel, bro. You know what I'm talking about? That shit in the back of the van. It's a fucking dog kennel. You know what I'm saying? And and, and the shit 
got no air. And I'm like, why the fuck you doing this shit to me? Why, why, because the kid that was with me was talking shit to the police. He going home. Like, so they put, put us in that shit. That shit, I was like, oh my God, bro. I'm never coming back to jail. They put a nigga in a dog kennel, bro. And it was hot. Couldn't breathe in that motherfucker, man. So the moral of the story, man, why I say this, man, to the youth, the dudes that's listening, man, don't go to jail, man. It's not for you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Continue to work. Get a job, bro. Make the money. Same money that you could pretty much make selling drug on a low level or whatever. You could still do the same thing. You could pay down in the car, man. Just stay out of jail, man. It's your boy, Stony Rockstar, man. Oh, hold up. I got... Yo, so back to the Patiao shit in C95 on the other time when I was on the island. When they had a eight and they was just jumping black dudes and shit like that. They had jumped the blood. Blood dude went up there. No, I'm sex, money, murder. So now we're in the bullpen. No, I'm saying I see the kid. He come last. And I heard they say he came from that house. So we're in the bullpen. So the homie see one of them and it was him. So he ran up on the nigga. Boom. And start ming monging this nigga. Right. And the homies pulled back and just let him work this nigga up against the toilet. Just monk, monk, monk. And this nigga was known for catching niggas and putting beats on it because he was getting ready to go up north that day anyway. Know what I'm saying? So he put beats on this nigga. Right. And um, so the uh, Indian cop came and pepper sprayed. Sprayed that shit and the shit hit the Dominican Patel nigga in the eye Made it even worse Bro you don't wanna inhale that shit man You don't Bro that shit ain't nothing to fuck with man It's your boy Stony Rockstar man I'll be back at you again with another official video One Nigga